Factor cap, Javon. Brock Purdy will never lead the 49ers back to the Super Bowl. Uh, it's a cap. I think our team is. I think our team is too good. Um, I'm looking at the NFC. All right, Cowboys. It's a great no. question. Says it out in the 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 Lions. I feel like are coming, but I feel like they'll kind of come back to earth. I feel like the team that's ascending is the the Packers. Um, they have a lot to build off of. They're very young, so I feel like they'll they'll be there. The Eagles are there. Um, I don't know how good the Bucks will be. They'll they'll probably be losing a couple of guys in free agency. Um, I guess I mean the Cowboys will be in the mix, um, but how serious do we take them? Um, I feel like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say this team, the Saints, could be a, a team if they if they get right, they could be Pre-season a team pick. that could be in the mix. Um, shit, the Bears, they could be in it. Um, depending on how good Caleb Williams is, they could be a team that could. Um, Apparently, he's already a top ten quarterback. According to me, uh, <laughs> the Bears could be a team that could definitely be in the mix. I think the Vikings, if they re-sign uh, uh, Kirk Cousins, they could be a, a team that kind of be in the mix. So, um, I think the Niners are the best team in the NFC, and um, I think they would just. I don't really see a team knocking. The Rams are another team, too. Um, I feel like there's just a bunch of teams that could be in the mix, but I don't know if they would be better than the Niners. I feel like most of the teams that are better than the Niners are in the AFC. Like, you know, there's the Ravens or the Bills. Um, The Jets could be another team um, when Aaron Rodgers is healthy. Um, So I feel like most of the teams that the Niners really would have to worry about are in the opposite conference. Versus in the NFC, I think the teams – Usually, they're, they're pretty much better than most of the teams in the NFC. Currently. From coach to players to quarterback, I feel like they're just better across the board than most teams in the NFC currently. All right, so, yes, this is, a, this, is a, this is a cap for me. Sorry. No worries. Kaz, fact or cap, Brock Purdy will never lead the 49ers back to the Super Bowl. <clears throat> okay, so I prematurely put my hand on my face just because how quickly, you know, Javon said, oh, it's you know, cap. <laughs> now, after observing some things um, and looking at my, <laughs> my my Twitch chat right now, um, someone made a really good point. Uh, the NFC does not have much competition. In comparison to the AFC, I do understand. But the yeah. fact still remains, how good are the good teams in the NFC? Well, they're pretty damn good, and they're pretty well-rounded. So it's not like the Niners are just going to – not that you're saying this, but it's not like the Niners just have <laughs> this clear path back to the Super Bowl. First off, there's one ma- major thing we got to focus on, and that is – Brock Purdy, second year. Um, he got to the third Super Bowl. Year. This is gonna be his third oh. year, but I'm saying this oh, is yeah, second this, year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the second year. Um he got there he, in the he, second year. He he did get there, he did get there. Um, and he's a very, very, very good game manager. I think he's a, I think he's a good quarterback. I'll give him I'll give him his credit. He's he's a solid quarterback, he's solid. I think he's good. Okay. Um, but I still need to see it for consecutive. It's just like the whole the whole thing with Jalen Hurts after the after the second year. When we went to Super Bowl. Listen, I'm just saying. Listen, I'm being fair here. I'm being transparent. <laughs> but that, that was that was the whole thing. It's like, well, you know, it, was it a one year thing? Joe Burrow was it? A, was it a one time thing when he went there? And then the next year, yeah, they were there to play against Mahomes and whatnot to go. But I mean, they, they stunk it up. It's like, are these quarterbacks actually legitimate, or is it are they a product of their team? And I still don't know because the Niners have a good team. You guys are favored to win the Super Bowl, and it's not because yeah, of Brock Purdy. Ridiculous. You're not. I don't think it was really. Ridiculous. It was only what? Uh two and a half points, one and a half points, one and a half, right? Yeah, but the other team has Patrick Ooh. Mahomes. True, but you guys have a stupid roster, and you guys got Chase Young in the middle of the season, too, to add to that dumb roster. The best linebacker may or may not come back. The, he, he probably did pretty is. good He's, yesterday. It, but the trade was worth it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I think that um if I had to pick factor cap, I'm gonna say it is. Fact, he will never lead them back to the Super Bowl. And it's not because he's not good enough. I just think that the 49ers, within the next two to three years, they're going to – I think this is about as good as, as you guys are going to get. Like, as good as you are right now, this is probably as good as you're going to get. And you didn't get it done now. And it's kind of the same thing with the Eagles where I'm like, last year when we lost, I was like, fuck, dude, I think we're going to go back. I think we're going to go back. But we, I, I would like to go back with the win and possibly to possibly repeat. I don't want to go back and have to, you know, get our you – know, you know what I'm saying? Because we're going to have to cut guys, which we did. And then now we're oh. now we're losing more. So it's like, I unless you guys somehow some way can keep this same 
roster, the same <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the same roster, you know, Shanahan's going to still be there. Um, I, I just think that there's going to be another team that's going to be <laughs> – there's going to be another team that's going to be the one that's going to be representing the, the NFC in the in the Super Bowl, and it will not be under the Washington Brock Purdy. So I'm going to say it's a fact, but not because he's not good enough. I just think that other teams are going to get their, their chance to shine. So, May I interject before Gary goes? Yes, Kaz, as you did say that Brock Purdy was not going to go and lead his team back to the Super Bowl. And you, you said that. I knew you were going to say this. Oh, Jalen Hurts is going to be back and do this and that. Might I add, sir, you guys lost two coordinators. Yes, two. Um, you lost your offensive coordinator in Shane Steichen, and you lost, I forget what the Cardinals head coach's name is. Jonathan Gannon. John, Mr. Gannon, yes. Um, and we saw what Jonathan Gannon was able to do with uh, pro bowler uh, Gardner Minshew. And, you know, when Hurts doesn't have his coordinator, he looks a little, a little shaky. So maybe Kellen Moore can revive his career. However, the Niners have a guy in the name who is Kyle mm-hmm. Shannon. He calls all the plays, but you know, you got guys leaving left, leaving right, go to the NFC Championship game. Oh, wait, he just left last year. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll go to another NFC Championship game. That's what we did last year. Oh, we lose another guy. We lost Mike McDaniel. We lost uh, uh, the, the our pass game coordinator that went to the, to the Texans. No, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We went and got to the Super Bowl. So that's my only thing. <laughs> Rob is is we, lo- we lose a bunch of coordinators all the time. He said Kellen Moore. Still kind of the, the, the main constant is Kyle Shanahan, the guy who calls our plays. Um, and we have Brock Purdy, a very, very a top 10 quarterback, I might add. So that's why I feel like his window is a lot more open than a lot more other guys in the NFC. So that's all I'm going to say. Gary, I'm going to let you go. Sorry to mean to interject. No, it's well, like top Gary... ten. You're saying top ten like it's so lovely category. That means you're <laughs> I'm looking at better, Gary's better face. Half. Every time you say I look at Gary's face, he's just like, like, a little bro. better than half. A little better than ha- over half. Okay. Good job. Well, anyways, go. Gary is praying for a top ten quarterback. I just might add that. So all right, my quarterback <laughs> sucks, bro. I want to explain the expectations <laughs> earlier. The expectations. Go ahead. All right, Gary. Factor cap. Brock Purdy will never lead the 49ers back to the Super Bowl. I don't know. I feel if I say fact, it's like, I don't know. You're like, you say fact, you're like you're hating on them. You say cap. You know, this is like a loaded question to Sean to bring back later, to be honest with you, if he ever does make it to the Super Bowl. I told you so. See, he wanted something to come out of today. He's like, the first 50 hour and 56. I'm, I am getting the receipts ready to go. Exactly. And I'm ready. Um, okay. Never say never. So I will say cap. Okay, he Justin could... Bieber. I guess yeah, I didn't even know that. Uh, what was his on? Never say never. For never, say never. never. So they could make it again. So I'll say cap. They, they, I won't say never. He can't. Will it be highly unlikely? Um, I think it'll be not, highly not unlikely. Not in the NFC. Yet. You guys say that now, but like you said, you never know what's going to emerge. You don't know who's going to be traded. You don't know who's going to come to that side. You don't know what injuries might happen like we talked about. You guys have been knocking on the door for how many years now? This is like the fourth year with this pretty good, solid roster. And as you shake your head, Sean, you know that it's not – You no one on these – all these Hall of Famers you guys have are getting younger. And it's not easy. Hall of Famers don't grow on trees in the spots you guys have greatness at. So, yeah, well, can you knock on it maybe next year that you're after? Maybe, but you guys are forgetting. Kaz, they're forgetting something. The Mr. Uh, Mr. What's his name? Mr. What's uh, Brock Purdy? What they call him? Mr. Unreliable? What's it called? Mr. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. <laughs> Mr. Irrelevant. Mr. Irrelevant is gonna have to get paid sometime, and they're not. Then they're gonna even have less guys. Two more. Two more years. Two more years on a rookie contract. We really got more two years. more years to step in this gap right here. Which is getting maximized where we don't know. Like I said, I don't think Shanahan should be in the hot seat at all. But again, if he again doesn't get it done in two years, does everyone start shifting the narrative on him? Can he get it done? Javon mentioned earlier how it took Andy Reid another 15 years to get it, you know, to, to find a Patrick Mahomes. Is this his Patrick Mahomes? I just don't like uh, it's it's cap because I don't want to say never because of the loaded question Sean gave me. But is it highly unlikely? I really think it's highly unlikely just because of the timetable window you guys have. The time tempo window you guys have is closing. Just like the Bills are slowly closing, where they're going to have to do something to revamp the roster to, again, open up the window like, which is crazy to say, the Chiefs did by trading Tyree Kill, which everyone thought was crazy, which actually now helped them get a better offensive line, better offensive line, and help them get better at defense and now have the youngest defense now to open up the window bigger. 
So right now the window is closing for the Niners. So I don't know how much chance they really got. One good thing that you guys both, everyone harped on, is that they have they're on the NFC, and right now the NFC is not looking as hard. But then again, there was two playoff rounds that we seen from your guys Niners that almost lost on this run itself. That you guys were down in both of these games and made a comeback. So yeah, you guys made it there, but it could have been easily the Packers. Easily, uh, the Lions don't even forget the Rams could be knocking on the door. So, yeah, we mentioned the teams that could knock on the door. You guys should be favored to get there again. So, I won't say never, but man, oh man, it's looking highly unlikely with the window closing. All right, factor cap Brock Purdy will never lead the 49ers back to the Super Bowl. Just want to give a, a quick little bit of background as to why I thought of this question is because, um, one of my friends who is a Raiders fan yeah a Raiders fan was trying to troll me because he was like yeah well at least my team could beat the Chiefs this year and okay congratulations on your regular season win basically was my response to him and he sent me a screenshot from Reddit and it's a stat the stat says the last 16 quarterbacks to lose in their Super Bowl debut have never even made it back to the Super Bowl that list of quarterbacks includes Jimmy Garoppolo, Jared Goff, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, Colin Kaepernick, Rex Grossman, Matt Hasselback, Donovan McNabb, Jake DeLome, Rich Gannon. Uh, then we got Steve McNair, Drew Bledsoe, not as a starter. He was the backup. Um, he sounds like this realm. I'm not changing the fact. Colin <laughs> sounds like this realm. He sounds Humphrey. like he's in this realm. <laughs> On that list, we have two 49ers quarterbacks from the last two Super Bowls. There is obviously Jimmy Garoppolo and Colin Kaepernick. So that's what made me think of this question. To answer my own question, Brock Purdy will never lead the 49ers back to the Super Bowl factor cap. This is a cap. Come on. And it's because they're in the NFC. For the same exact reason why if this said Jalen Hurts will never lead the Eagles back to the Super Bowl, I'd say that's cap because he's in the NFC. Because Hurts one of the better biggest threats. Okay, thank you, Kaz. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, the, the funny thing about that is that uh, Kaz mentioned earlier how Jalen Hurts getting the Eagles to the Super Bowl last year, like cemented him as a top 10 quarterback. And now a year oh. after them making it to the Super Bowl, Von. I see your Super Bowl ring, Kaz. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. clean. <laughs> must, must be nice. Must, must be nice to see your team win a Super Bowl. I can't relate. Um, but, oh, did that say Nick Foles? Oh, Ooh. my God, that says Nick Foles on it. The statue. Uh, but, yep. Uh, so. So anyways, I'm going to say that this is cap. Brock Purdy will lead the 49ers back to the Super Bowl. <laughs> and the main reason why is because, number one, they're in the NFC. Number two, the team is built to win now over the next two years before he has to get paid. And number three, to me, Brock Purdy is here to stay in Santa Clara. Unlike Jimmy Garoppolo, who, even though I was one of his supporters, you had people like Jay Vaughn, who definitely weren't. Many other 49ers fans said Jimmy Garoppolo is not the guy. He overthrew Emmanuel Sanders. You have a better quarterback. He wins you that game. I think Brock Purdy would have completed that throw if he was in he that same chance, situation Debo. in the Super Bowl. I said Trey Lance was the guy. Yeah, well, I, I also <laughs> thought Trey Lance was the guy, but Brock Purdy proved that he's the guy. And so my overall point is Brock Purdy is going to be around for at least the next two, three years while he's on his rookie contract. And I think the 49ers can get back to the Super Bowl during that window. Maybe I'm just a naive fan. But I'm going to say that this is cap. Brock Purdy will lead the 49ers back to the Super Bowl.